Hey guys, Slenderman here. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Slender, the eight pages. This is an amusing little tribute or homage made about me, Slenderman. A group of humans, not that unlike yourselves, spent a lot of time on the computer making this game about me, so I figured I ought to at least play it, and I ended up liking it. They got it pretty accurate, too, even with the first note there you see that says, Leave me alone. It serves as a pretty good warning, and with most of my victims, I do like to give them some kind of warning, like, Hey, you're gonna die, this is gonna be a really fun cat game of cat and mouse, but it's kind of dangerous. They like to view themselves as the protagonist in these sort of scenarios, so I like to give them a sort of heads up. I don't like them playing the role of the fool. It's not quite as fun. Overall, I would say that I'm very happy that this game was made. I really like it because I can see myself from a human's point of view. I don't really get along that well with mirrors, and there's a few pictures of me, but because I have a tendency to mess up electronic devices that aren't my own, they're pretty blurry, kind of grainy. The fan art's really nice to look at, but this really helps me get into the mindset of my victims. You can see people like this walking around in the woods. They can't uh, see anything. Obviously, I can see fine in the woods if, you know, if I were really stalking this guy, I would know exactly where he was. Ooh, look, another little note. Help me. See, that second note really lures them in. They're thinking, maybe it's not me leaving his notes. Maybe it's somebody that can be saved or helped, but that's not really the case. And because I am kind of an ethereal demon, I have a big problem with empathy. I can't really understand you humans that well. I don't understand uh, all that well what makes you afraid. I mean, obviously you're afraid of me. And I love scaring the shit out of you. But uh, sometimes I don't understand all of your primary motivations. So when I can play this game and pretend to be a human, it makes things much easier. On a side note, because I've become so popular on the internet, merchandise sales are up really high. I haven't had to pick any wallets to pay for bills. Ooh, you're gonna like this. They're uh, in the bathroom of death again. I like it. They just they think that because they're inside, they're not gonna see me. Just wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Oh, it gets them every time. And they're going to run back inside, thinking that they're safe and that everything's going to be fine, because Slenderman, the monsters, they can never come inside, right? It's not like I could fit through a normal size door. <laughs> Oh, these teenagers, they're so easy to get. But yeah, merchandise sales are up. It's very easy to pay my bills these days, kind of being an internet celebrity, you know, not so much pickpocketing. And another thing, it's much easier to find potential victims. I can just kind of get on 4chan and troll around a little bit to a lesser degree Reddit or Tumblr or Twitter or YouTube, but it's mostly 4chan on the X board or the Vtards or whatnot, something awful every now and then. All these people are like, hey, herpity derp, I'm going to go find Slenderman. And because I'm kind of a technological-based monster, I know exactly where they're going to be. Watch that. There's another note. And uh, a lot of you don't really understand. Part of what I am is I kind of play with technology. I kind of turn it on you. You humans really, really like it, but I turn that against you, like those flashlights that don't work. Mostly go for uh, teens and tweens, minors. They have a tendency to taste the best. They're the most fun. When you go for adults, they have a tendency to shoot or use sticks or swords. I chased down a veteran once. He had a gun. He shot at me, and it didn't really hurt too much, but it wasn't as fun since he wasn't quite as scared. And uh, you gotta be a little bit careful with the beatards. Uh, I found one of them one time. He was actually kind of wanting to get captured. See, there we go with the technology again. But, you know, I really kind of like the EMP distortion field because you're so you're so used to it. And when they start failing, when cell phones don't work, when your cruddy flashlights don't work, you really start to panic. But yeah, that Vtard guy, he kind of had a fetish for guys in Zentai masks and white gloves. And he wanted to do some things that I really just weren't into. I don't prefer to mate with you humans, so I had to put him away quickly. I don't normally talk about what I do to victims uh, on the internet or other places because it's just, uh, you know, it spoils the surprise for you guys. Speaking of which... Uh, this poor fellow here is going to be in for quite a surprise. This is definitely my favorite part of the game when I'm starting to close in on him. And you can see how humans panic and run around and they don't know what's going on. I wish that a few more of my otherworldly friends would catch up with modern times and start using computers. Because of the internet and the humans that are connected to the internet and their computers, it's never been easier for me to scare people. And every time I scare somebody, I just grow that much stronger. Matter of fact, I'm more powerful now than I ever have been before. Poor Mothman is still stuck in the 70s posing for people that have Polaroid cameras and... Bigfoot, he was never really mainstream to begin with, but then again, I don't think they have uh, cable TV out there, much less the internet. I think it's about time to finish this guy off. Slender out.